Question one means consequences as has occurred elsewhere, like Vermont. A lesbian couple sued us for not supporting their gay wedding because of our Christian beliefs. We had to pay $30,000 and can no longer host any weddings at our inn. Vote no on question one to avoid this in Maine. Right, because you are a public venue and then you are trying to discriminate against couples because you didn't want them to marry when they had the right to marry on your public venue. I'm sorry, but if, say for instance, me and Andy owned a house and it was dedicated to marriages, we could not, and it was made for marriages, it was like, whatever, a gazebo, let's say we own a gazebo, that's easier for to digest. We own a gazebo, okay, and a straight couple want to marry in our gazebo. We cannot turn them away because it's a public thing. It's a public space that we're allowing others to use. You can't do that. And that's what this person did, is they basically turned away a gay couple and were fined for the anti-discrimination clauses yep. in that state because they were discriminating. They were basically being segregationists. Children who need to be taught to respect traditional moral values are being taught that they have an inalienable right to be gay. The Bible's again it, God's again it, I'm again it, and if you've got any sense, you're again it. Those who practice such things are deserving of death. But Christianity is not an organized religion, a church that can be imposed. There are many different churches that promote the Christian philosophy in many different ways. But Christianity is not an organized religion. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. When you vote in this upcoming election, you'll be voting on something that will affect every family. Oh, that's not fuck. The definition of marriage. Tony oh. Perkins. President of the Family Research Council, as you see here, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know, the Family Research Council is a designated hate group like the KKK and neo Nazis. Go figure! And he's speaking as a talking point for here. Hello, I'm Tony Perkins, President of the Family Research Council here in Washington, D.C. How will same sex marriage affect you? Well, if same sex marriage becomes legal, then it must be taught as. Is it just me, or does he look like Two Face in this picture? He almost. He almost looks like Harvey Dent. Look at that. Like, half his face is fine, the other half is like deformed, fucked up, and red. <laughs> All right, let's continue. That's, they're gonna have normal, acceptable, moral behavior in every public school. That means public it's gonna schools. It's going to be treated as normal instead of abnormal. In so they can have rights, you know, so they have the grounds to discriminate against other people. Yeah, God forbid they, they learn some tolerance, right? Even kinder that means public schools in your state will make teachers in every grade, even kindergarten and early elementary school, literally indoctrinate your children into accepting homosexual marriage as the very same as your marriage. Like you indoctrinate they that, gay themselves. Well, Leah, yeah, like you indoctrinate that hair piece you got on there, Tony. Now, don't think it can't happen in your community. What do you, th what do you think that is, Andy? Squirrel? Or a raccoon. Oh wait, no, he's rich. It's probably mink. It's mink. Now don't think it can't happen in your community. It's already happened in Massachusetts. If it makes you a bit uncomfortable... I have friends who have kids, okay? And their kids know I'm gay. And guess what? Their kids are young, too. They're like three, four, five, you know, etc. They're, they're under the age of ten. When I describe Andy to them, they don't, they don't, they don't, Oh, my brain hurts! It's like, okay. Because they don't see it. They don't see it as weird. They just know two people love each other and that's what matters. Holy shit, you know, go figure. Why do kids understand this so much more than adults? Because the adults are so indoctrinated by stupidity. To be manipulated by others, then they're, they're not, not our morals. Oh we wow, creepy twin voiceovers. By law. Tradition that has stood the test of time. Generation. They're not telling you not to believe in God anymore. They're just telling you that your a belief structure is bigoted because it is. I put it simple. You're a fucking idiot. You can have those beliefs all you want, just like a neo Nazi, and have beliefs that blacks are inferior, but you can't have those govern people and laws because there's no grounds to do so. You can pull this stupid shit out of your ass all day long about how it promotes drug use and suicide. It doesn't add up at all. And it has not been proven. I'm... And you can't ignore design. We wouldn't have generations without man, man and, and woman, woman, husband and wife. Stop Even with the creepy... They're so, they're so creepy when they do that voices. It's like, you know, come and play with us. 
Hello, I'm Dr. Alveda King, the niece of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. I understand the civil rights struggle. During the civil rights movement, we were working for access to education, to decent housing, jobs, and health care. Okay, guess what? We're doing the same thing as gay people. Did you know that you can be kicked out of your home that you're renting from or you're leasing from? You could lose your place. You could be kicked out by neighbors who are being bigoted and basically damaging your property. You could be forced to leave with pretty much no legal recourse in a lot of cases because cops or people of the law don't want to do their job for being gay. So she's basically saying the exact same thing that gay people are still struggling with today. Hmm. Anyways, the person who's talking is her name is her name. Her, she's the niece of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. She's also extremely right wing, bigoted, and anti gay. Hey, but she gets credibility because she's the automatically. She gets credibility because she's the niece of Dr. Martin Luther King. Yeah, you know who they're not doing the voiceover with? Coretta Scott King, King's wife. You know why? Because she supports gay rights and has always done so. She's on the wrong side of history and she's on the wrong side of eternity as we'll learn. As a minister, I believe that the NAACP leadership and gay rights activists have formed an unholy alliance by trying to convince you and me that marriage should be redefined. We did not define marriage and we cannot redefine marriage. Marriage, by definition, is a holy union between one man and one woman. It's possible to be tolerant of gay and lesbian rights without redefining marriage, God's holy union. Some preachers are saying that gay marriage is inevitable and that they want to be on the right side of history. Well, I believe that we are on the right side of history and the right side of eternity. The same, but watch this, for those who also approve of those who practice these things. When, if we don't vote against it, then we are approving yeah. these things Preach. that are worthy of death. Wow. Preach. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, this is just another brilliant tactic that they always like to use. They, they find someone who fought for civil rights or equal rights and they find them and they talk against gay rights and somehow that'll give them automatic credibility with these other people like see uh, you can't compare it to the the rights that blacks had to fight for you can't compare that at all period right just like when they they find black people to come on program to do ads like this and say you're making it harder for the rest of us well you just need a Lay low, you don't get trouble if you don't make trouble. You know, yeah. they'd say shit like that all the time. And yeah, and back in the, yeah, they, they had people like that during the times of segregation. And it's just really sad. And it's, it's just, it's so pathetic. And so, and I, and I say that because I have in mind those um, gays and lesbians who believe that they can be Christian and gay at the same time. That, that is one of the, the, the lies that, 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 that Satan uh, is keeping people trapped in. Not only are they on the wrong side of history, <laughs> but they will be on the wrong side of eternity. Wow. Wow. <laughs>